are here at the research symposium with two of our wonderful students, Femi and Hannah, and we're continuing on learning about the wonderful research that Fairfield University students do. So Femi, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Tell us a little bit more about your project. Uh, so this project is uh, two years in the making. Um, we do our uh, research with Dr. Phelan, who's a uh, uh, head of the biology department here at Fairfield. Uh, she gave us complete uh, control and autonomy over our project to look at something new. Um, so we looked at previous research that was published um, and found uh, that pomegranates have anti-tumorous uh, effects on uh, different cancer cell lines. So we thought about you know, what that could mean for our personal research. Um, so Dr. Phelan does breast cancer cell research. And we started with MCF7s, which are cancerous, and we contrasted that with uh, healthy, normal 10A cells. Um, we found, we isolated a thing called pomegranate seed oil that's found in pomegranates um, and extracted the pinusic acid that's found in the pomegranate seed oil. Uh, Dr. Phelan made various concentrations of that acid for us to treat uh, our MCF7 and 10A cells with. And essentially, we were looking at how treatment, treating the pinusic acid affects their cell density, viability, um, apoptosis and what genes they're expressing. Really interesting, you guys. So tell me, Hannah, why breast cancer research is such a huge, huge topic and thing. What inspired you uh, to dive into this project with Femi? Right, so um, in Dr. Phelan's lab, she mainly focuses on breast cancers, um, breast cancer cells, so that's the MCF7 line. She also works with uh, leukemia cells, but we just thought since the prevalence of breast cancer is so great that this would be something that would be really inspiring for us to do. Um, we studied pun punistic acid specifically because um, I at least knew pomegranates to be a source of polyphenols which have anti-carcinogenic effects. So um, polyphenols are a compound found in pomegranates, uh, coffee, green tea, red wine, dark chocolate, and um, they have antioxidant properties. So we wanted to see what this would do to cancer cells and we've seen some really promising results. So that's uh, that's been great. Last week we actually uh, went to the American Association for Cancer Research Conference. Um, we received a grant uh, from the Mancini Fund which allowed us to actually travel there, um, which was very generous of them and it was one of the best experiences I've ever I've ever had, honestly. It's very memorable. Wow, so exciting, you guys. That's really exciting stuff. Yeah. Um, so tell me, I mean, you've touched so much on the faculty um, piece of this project and how she let you take a lot of autonomy, but I'm sure she was a really big part of very the project. So. so tell me a little bit about that mentorship piece between you and the faculty. Oh my gosh, well, I think the faculty aspect of Fairfield is probably my favorite part, especially being in the bio department. Um, we're a very close-knit family in the bio department, honestly. I can name so many professors who I have built super personal relationships with. Dr. Phelan's literally one of our best friends. Um, she's been the best mentor ever. None of this would have ever been possible without her. Um, she's guided us in every, every step of the way. She's given us so much direction. And while she has given us that autonomy, um, she's really just led us in the perfect direction and she set us up for a really successful future too. That's awesome, so special. Femi, tell me, how has it been here at the Research Symposium today? How has your day been going, talking with the Fairfield community about all the hard work you put into this project? Yeah, uh, so as Hannah uh, talked about, we went to the American Association for the Cancer Research Conference last week. Uh, so it's basically sort of like uh, redoing everything that we, are, we already did. Um, so I guess we've had, we had good practice with it. It's something not really new to us. I wasn't really nervous coming down here to talk about the research. When you do something for two years, you kind of already know what you're doing and uh, how to talk about it. So I would say there are no nerves at all. Absolutely. You guys, are, you guys are old pros at this, right? So last but certainly not least, where do you hope the research goes from here? Well, we are, the next step is to look at uh, what genes are being expressed in the 10 A's, the normal cell line. We weren't able to do that yet. Um, I think Dr. Phelan's gonna do that for us um, after we graduate and then hopefully she's gonna submit an abstract to a journal for us to get published. Really exciting. Well, all of your hard work certainly paid off. Very impressive job, you guys, and thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank no you so much. Thank you.